The one given of being a fan of pro sports is the guarantee of heartbreak. In the NHL, 31 families of fans are routinely let down every single year as their teams eventually fall short of the finish line. While some letdowns can be easier to come to terms with than others, it's the fashion in which the heartbreak occurs that stinks. And the game that I'm about to show you today witnessed one of the worst heartbreaks in NHL history. After being crowned kings of the hockey world back in 2003, the New Jersey Devils witnessed a drastic fall from grace. In the years that followed their final triumph, the Devils struggled dearly in the playoffs. But when 2009 came around, it seemed things were finally back on the up. With big name players exploding for productive seasons paired with the fact that history was made within the regular season, it seemed as though the Devils had a good chance at the Cup. After setting the record for most wins in franchise history, they would finish top of the Atlantic Division. And their first round matchup would be a familiar face. Carolina had also had an interesting timeline up to this point. After they won the Stanley Cup in 2006, the following seasons for Carolina were nothing short of miserable. In the season following their Stanley Cup win, they became just the fourth team in NHL history to miss the playoffs following a Stanley Cup. And they would follow it up with yet another mediocre season in 07-08, missing playoffs once again. But when 2009 rolled around, they were able to finally muster up a solid record one that resulted in finishing sixth place in the Eastern Conference. But after beating the Devils in the two most recent matchups, Carolina knew that New Jersey hoped to exact revenge. When game one rolled around, the Devils made it clear that they weren't here to mess around. Motto able to step by, Rister scores! Good forearm to the back there, and Breezy scores! Ward, played back along by Gianna, Elias, a blast, SCORE! And a four on two, now a three on two, Parise, the Lightning Brother, SCORE! And when game two kicked off, things appeared to be going the exact same. One-timer, Gleason, they SCORE! Canes win game two! As the series shifted back to Raleigh, a stalemate in regulation meant another overtime. But considering the fact that the last five times the Hurricanes had played the Devils in overtime they had won, it seemed as though they had nothing to worry about. Travis Zajac with the overtime winner! With a chance to fall down 3-1 to one in the series, the Hurricanes knew they desperately needed to win in game four. But as the game neared the end of regulation knotted at three, seemed as though it was going to require another overtime. Although their chance at a stranglehold on the series slipped away, the Devils were able to bounce back in Game 5, holding on to a 1-0 win. And come Game 6, they look to wrap up the series. And just like that, we were going to Game 7. For both teams, Game 7s were a familiarity. Although the Hurricanes had only played two in their brief history since moving from Hartford, they happened to occur in the two most recent series victories for the Hurricanes. And as for New Jersey, since they first made the playoffs back in 1988, they had had a long history of Game 7s. And ironically enough, their most recent Game 7 was also in the Stanley Cup Final. But with all history put aside, once the ref dropped the puck for the opening draw, it was go time. But unfortunately for New Jersey, the game started about as bad as humanly possible. Directed away, good defensive work by Seidenberg on Gianta. 
Holland walked on. Delayed and gave to Rutu for a shot. Score! The Hurricane strike first, a minute and two seconds in. And in the worst case imaginable, it took the Devils 62 seconds to be down one. But with so much of the game remaining, it was only a matter of time before they were going to get back on track. Some offense of their own. Parise threw it in front. Score! Langenbrenner! Carries up with Eric Cole and was right near him. Oh, and what a collision with Johnny Oduya! Played ahead for Matt. Directed across to Shanahan. Played it on to Matt. Has Pandolfo breaking. Threw it across. Score! And awful! As defense is tightened up for the remainder of the first, once the second period began, it was clear that the game was about to be blown wide open. Overskated by two or three. What a poet out of the University of Minnesota Duluth. That's down to the ice went Parise. There'll be a penalty coming up. The call is a trip. And then could not control, but Gianta does. To Rawson in front of Blast. It's saved by Ward. Right to LaRose it comes. Bet behind the stall. He's got Whitney in front. Stop! Whitney had crept free for just a moment. After the Hurricanes tied it from out of nowhere, the Devils knew they needed to score soon to kill any momentum, or else things could get out of hand quick. Speeds, green a shot, deflected, and it went off the skate of Gleason. Then along to Parise again, then for Langenbrunner, through the legs path, Parise had shot, fought off by Ward. Good puck possession by the Devils. Parise shuttled one wide on the wraparound. Zay Jack is fouled. There'll be a penalty coming up to Carolina. Thrown along by Gianta, but taken now by Patrick Eves. Another Boston College product. Eves walked it ahead, dropped it on. Clarkson said thank you, steers it back ahead. It's laid on by Shanahan to Gianta. Shuffled across to Ralston. Big blast, score! Though it was a rough way to fall behind, soon after the goal, Carolina made it clear they were hungry for the equalizer. Right back ahead with this and poking it on as Samsonov. Down to the ice he goes. And there'll be a penalty coming up against New Jersey. Starts as an NHL record. A penalty is coming up. And this is going to be against the Devils. Two-man advantage was as good a chance as it. Now for Stahl, worked in for Whitney, given back to Stahl again, then over to Corvo, a lot of time here for the Canes. Jokin into Corvo, a blast, kicked back out by Brodeur. Boot save. Here's Jokin and up with it, threw one in front, kicked out by Brodeur, another try, deflected wide roll. Stahl got it back to Whitney again, gave it across, Jokin and it's on, oh, and a save, and man's gone off the post too. Worked back on by Colin Whiteson. As the Devils killed it off and the building came alive, New Jersey would soon get a huge chance of their own. Runner works the outside now. Ladled back by Zajac to White. Colin White right back to Zajac. Tripped up is Parise. A penalty is coming up and Parise is injured and down. It's going to come up, but does it hit Zach's stick? Oh no. Ooh, the toe of the stick. And the Devils would be awarded a four minute power play. Back one, but through Ralston near Zajac and punched into him by Pitkin. Out in front. Oh! Great save made by Ward on Elion. Even at 19, Devils lead by one, Parise behind. That kicked across, Elion dealt it to Parise, slammed one into Ward, another try. Ward looked behind, but he had it. But he looked up at the clock, said, I'm not going to the dressing room now. Langenbrunner dipped one out in front, oh, and Parise dove across the ice. And a block there by Ward. Turned around behind, plenty of time and space now for Cullen, no matter, period end. After killing off the brunt of the double minor, once the final frame kicked off, the Hurricanes had no issues killing the rest. But though penalty killing remained crucial, the Hurricanes knew they needed to score a goal quick. But the Devils knew that a goal their way could all but put the game to bed. All decided out west, of course. Here's a pass and a two-on-one. Madden Pandolfo with back, jump back. Madden a blast, save, paddled away by Ward. Walker break from the bench as well as Sansonov and Brindamore. Rodeur out to block that one right back into traffic and he had to dive out to play it further. Do this in a moment. Off the face off, Stoll got it to Batchuk and a drive. Rattled around in front, kicked at it and went off the outside of the gate. Battle for it and still in Rodeur hanging on the best he can and play a stop. Gleason lost. Langenbrunner trying to throw it in front. Gleason right there to react and down he goes. Langenbrunner will be penalized here. A power play. Dropped it on back. A fresh stick is held by Brindamore this time. Pitkin 
in to Samsonov. Fed one in front for Whitney. Save Renard. Felt like neither team was going to score. But soon, something had to break. And it's turned on to Matt. Hot swing back at Seidenberg. Matt with a shot. Save more. Rebound. Conkley steered to the corner by Seidenberg, and then he was hit. Elias steps in and bangs into a man who remains down. I'm trying to see, is it room two? Ticked away, the Hurricanes ramped up the pressure into overdrive. And it would soon pay off. Just that, and Eric Stahl is 31.7 seconds from beating the goaltender with, the, the, in all likelihood, the last goal. In the same spot that Tuomo Rutu did with the first goal back in the first period. 